Well, again, the, the, the work done by the Institute for Government last year suggested that when it comes to coalitions, it can often, often be the, the smaller party that gets squeezed politically mm. um, so that it loses its identity and so on. Mm. Have you had those concerns? Yes, all along. And in fact, I had those concerns before the general election uh, and before the coalition outcome. Um, but I think that doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it. You know, just because you're going to be worried about you know, where you are in the opinion polls in five years' time is not a reason uh, to duck out of difficult decisions, to duck out of the possibility to change things for the good. So, you know, I think that's a compelling and overriding reason. But I mean, what's the, the long-term thinking here, that you will, in the long-term, improve the overall reputation of the Liberal Democrats, make you a credible party of government, something you haven't been for 80 years? Well, I think that the credibility gap is the issue that would have been raised by most journalists over the past several decades. Um, and it's the credibility about whether the Lib Dems are capable of governing. At the end of this process, it should be clear that the Lib Dems not only are capable, but have considerable experience of governing. That's very different from the last general election and the previous general elections. So that is a good opportunity. Aren't the Lib Dems stuck in this coalition now? Not only committed to for five years, but if you wanted to pull out early, you're doing so badly in the polls that you've just in danger of risk of general election and in danger of all your seats. I think that anybody in the cabinet and anyone in the coalition government should just bite the bullet, ignore the opinion polls, not only worry it, and get on with delivering what they fundamentally believe are the right principles and the right policies. If they do that, then they will be pleased with themselves at the end of the process and they will feel they have done something. And doing something is what it is all about when you are involved in politics. It is getting the opportunity to change lives. But you must have been embarrassed by having to do U-turns on things like VAT and, and the speed and scale of the cuts. Well, I feel pretty robust about VAT, particularly since Alistair Darling has now said that he would have put up VAT anyway, uh, which was that during the general election, the Lib Dems quite you, rightly you, you, pointed you, you, out you, you, that there was a six billion shortfall in the Conservative plans and that it would need to be plugged by raising VAT. The Lib Dems proved to be perfectly correct in that analysis. Yeah, but you presented it as a VAT bombshell that, uh, and, and implied this was certainly nothing you'd ever do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think there is a difficulty, which is that in coalition you have to compromise, you have to decide where you're going to give in and where you're going to hold your ground. And the Lib Dems held their ground on hire, hiring the threshold for making the threshold higher uh, for low income taxpayers. And I think that was the right thing to do.